Hello, it's Adriana Franklin, owner of Legacy Level Consulting. Um, today, going to go over the scripture, Ephesians 6 and 12 with you. Again, it's so amazing how this planner has been um, just flowing with life. It's grand. It's great. So I do have a face painting. Um, there was an outreach today, which was amazing. And it also actually goes with the scripture as well, because um, in the neighborhood we were in, um, wasn't the smoothest neighborhood. However, there were just a lot of spirits that you could see operating in the people. Like um, we were outside and just, they wouldn't even roll their windows down or they would just drive off and just look and you could just see like spirit. So let me just get to reading the scripture first and then we can kind of go from there. So um, Ephesians six twelve is, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. So, Again, this isn't even in my notes because I literally just experienced it. You can see I'm your girl's a little shiny. Um, Try something new with my hair. Didn't quite know how that was going to turn out. It's interesting to say the least, but hey, you know what? It's all good. I was able to talk about my daddy today, and that's what I love to do. Um, but um, I was... Um, whoo, I actually had a discussion this week as well about arguing. And I'm like, you know, I do not want to live a life of arguing. Like, we should be able to have a conversation without raising our voices. And, like, I am, and that's, like, male or female, like, period. Like, whatever type of a relationship it is, like, you're not going to be yelling at me. And I just... I, I've been in toxic relationships and have dealt with that. And that's not what I want. I don't want toxic friendships as well. Like, I'm 41 years old. Like, I'm not going to be yelling. And it's just like, I had to just really, um, tr like, make them understand, like, there's no reason, like... My daddy is going to go before me. So anyone who's coming for me about anything, not that they don't really have a reason to, except for the spirit, the negative spirits, you know, trying to attack. But my daddy is going to stop them or the angels that are covering me, like they're going to block it. Like they're not even going to make it to me to even try to confront me as far as to the point where it would get escalated to me having to raise my voice. Cause for one, I'm gonna know like you're just being used. So I'm not even paying you any mind. Like I'm unbothered. Like I, in my 40 hour a week job, do collections. So you can imagine your girl gets yelled at constantly. But I understand that you don't know me from from Ann. You don't know me from Susan. You don't know me from Karen. Like, you don't know me. You're just miserable in life, and you're trying to make me upset by yelling and calling me names, and you just don't even know me. So, I'm definitely not going to take that personal and get upset and yell back. Like, I am the one that will kill you with kindness to the point where you will hang up the phone. Their spirit will be so irritated <laughs> that they will just hang up the phone because I'm not. I will laugh in your face because I know that it's not even the person. It is the principalities, the powers against the rulers of darkness of this age, which is really out here. I'm just gonna say this age is just makes me want to throw up constantly. Like, this little Nas X dude, like, I mean, you know, God did not like Esau. 
Now, we can pray for little Nas and hope that he turns his life around and can try to reverse some of his damage. But, you know, God definitely is not pleased with him. I'm not pleased with him. And that the whole thing is just ridiculous. And it was awesome to say, just being able to rep God on just a whole nother level and just show people that, you know, goodness is still out there. Um, anyways, that helps the spirit of the age. But that's what is would even try to come for me like I'm not even gonna be putting myself in situations or in places or associated with people who would even act like that like I'm 41 years old like I'm not gonna be at a bar I'm not gonna be I'm not I'm just not gonna be in certain places and the places where I'm at if someone wanted to yell and cuss they would be super out of place just I'm just saying, and yeah, I'm just, it's just, it was funny that I mean, I really had this conversation because I'm just like, I'm just not even in the atmosphere for any type of craziness because they were like, you know, sometimes you got to yell if, if a woman is, is yelling at me, like there is no reason that a woman would be yelling at me, not none whatsoever in real life because I just would never be, again, be in a situation. I, I can, I am really amazing at de-escalating any situation, which is a gifting. Like, it's one of my major giftings that God has given me is just, you know, people pleasing, talking, gift of mercy, and just really like de-escalating stuff because I'm not good with confrontation. Although I am learning, it is needed. But confrontation does not have to be extraness. You know, so um, I hope that you guys got a lot out of this scripture this week. I know I did. Again, it's just funny that I really did have this, like, discussion. Like, I was like, do you understand who I am? Like, because they were like, well, what if a girl, you know, wants to, wants, gets in your face and is cussing? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that, that just would not be the case. Like, I would walk away. Like, I would literally walk away and make her feel really this big. Couldn't be like, you're a grown up. There's nothing on this earth, on this earth, that would, cause me to be yelling back and forth with another grown woman like and not understand that it is a spirit operating in her whether it's a Jezebel spirit whether it's a jealous spirit whether it's just a a miserable in life spirit or poverty spirit or insecurity spirit whatever type of spirit it is I know it's a spirit and I, I don't go back and forth I I, now I will go shakala de shikira rosso ko tula mada da shasa ka tula mada ve shikira rosso ko la mada basha saka da de da basha saka da ko tula mada basha sa he shakala moro rosso ko la mada de shikira da basha sa in privacy I'll get loud I'll get loud and get about it in the spirit but in the natural you're not gonna catch me. Because what I do in the secret place and what I do in the spirit is the provision for all of this that goes on in the natural. So with that being said, um, you know, in these days that we're living in, don't allow yourself to get caught up in foolishness of the things of this world. Don't let people get under your skin. Understand that we are not of this world if you are a real disciple of Christ. Jesus Christ. Let's I'd be very clear. Um, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> Let's say that. Um, and that we, we're kingdom. And we don't have to do, we don't have to do those things anymore. So, which is also dope because my, my prayer call this morning, like they talked about that, this too. And I'm just like, this is just so amazingly dope. Like how God is just doing what he's doing. So I'm excited to see what he is going to do next. 
and I hope that you guys all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. I know I am. I am going to get some sleep and relax. I got a new roof today, so, which in essence, a new covering, so I just need to kind of meditate on that, but you guys make sure that you stay lit, and let's make Jesus famous.